Hey, it's CrossFitTracking.com. I wanted to do a hands-on review for the Garmin 6S. I'm thinking of upgrading my overall watch to the 6 or the 6S. So I first I ordered the 6S and have been previously wearing the Garmin 245. Um, the 6S, when I first got it, just it felt like the screen wasn't was just a shade not as sharp and was a little bit smaller as far as um, readability on the screen for some reason. They're the exact same size screen with the exact same pixel resolution, but I found it to be a little bit interesting. So I thought I'd post a review of what they look like side by side, looking at the screen appearance as well as in the dark. So that's what you'll find is first just sort of a hands-on review, looking through the widgets and how the different screens look one compared to the other. So you can see some of the color differences as well as just a hands-on review for the 6S as well as in the dark, if you can see any differences with the uh, coloring and the backlight differences. The 6S does have a backlight um, adjustment capability, so you can go from 10% up to 100%, and the 245 just comes with a straight, you know, standard backlight. Um, I'm gonna order the 6 just to be able to give a full comparison to see if it feels too big, because for some reason the 6S feels too small, although this thought, I thought the 245 felt like the right size. Um, they both have metal, one has metal casing, the other 645 is lighter, but the 6S doesn't feel incredibly heavy by any stretch. Um, so the rest of the review is just hands-on so that you can see how some of the screens look and what the differences are with the compressed widgets on the 6S, as well as the uh, coloring differences. A uh, special note was um, when they came out with the 245, the 945, and the 45, I immediately on some of the reviews online was noticing that the color clarity and the blackness on the 245 looked noticeably better than the 645 I was wearing. And it came to turn out that the 645 just looks more washed out. I personally have a problem with the transflective displays because I feel like they're not as easily readable. You have to think just a hair. You just gotta concentrate a little bit on what you're seeing and what you're reading versus an AMOLED, uh, which is more prevalent now. And I tested the Garmin venue, but have gone back to some of the more Forerunner Phoenix traditional line just because I feel like you have to have some of those higher level analysis on the workouts and the load and the recovery times, things like that, for it to be a purposeful CrossFit tracking device. Um, that's why I'm not wearing it. So now it's why I'm now going towards the six series from the Phoenix line. Um, so hope you enjoy CrossFitTracking.com. Thanks. Hey, this is CrossFitTracking.com. I just wanted to do a side-by-side -side comparison of the Garmin 245 versus the Phoenix 6S, just to sort of look at some of the primary differences because I've always been impressed by the components and um, anal analyzation aspects of the 245, but the 6S is obviously rated as the premier Garmin line. The 245 right now with music comes in at 350 and this comes in at 700, so significant price difference. You can see on the back, sort of side by side, you see that the, well, you can't see it from that angle, but you can, the thickness of the 6S is a little bit uh, thicker. You have a different location for the charging option, but overall the primary difference is gonna be the metal backing. So it's a full stainless steel. It's actually a very good looking back of the watch, whereas obviously the 245 is still just fine. You have the quick release uh, straps, which just sort of finger clip out, but they're not uh, interchangeable. Um, a 20 mil millimeter strap like you see here. You can also see that there's a difference, and this is something that's sort of interesting to me. There's a difference if we look at the length of the band and put the pen to pen relatively the same. Slight difference in the length of the band, but what's interesting about the 6S is that I think they really more focus it, focused it on uh, women wearing it. Um, I like the size because it's 42 millimeter, but you can sort of see, and that's sort of what I wanted to point out, is the slight differences in what the screen looks like um, when you go down through different components. Um, here you have obviously the quick menu where you have a, briefer, more summary of the items themselves. I have the brightness turned up to, I think, 70 or 80%, so it's gonna come in a little bit more bright. Um, one thing that's interesting is when you go into the stats themselves, um, obviously you have a screen here because I've been wearing that more consistently. Um, and the same here, um, but it's, it's funny because the screen 
size is supposed to be the same, but to me, the 6S just continues to feel like a much smaller screen, even if it's just by a few millimeters, but it's the same physical size, which to me doesn't make any sense. Um, here, you know, you can see the primary components and then you can see the training status, um, which shows a little bit differently. Um, obviously the dark background here and a little bit more uh, components with the details. Um, and again, if you go back to just the physical screens, the inside of the 6S has a different type of inlaid bezel, which shows a little bit of the, you know, 15, 25, 35 components just for the pieces of time. But again, when you look at it, to me, it looks continually like the size of the screen on the 245 is actually larger. So if you go into a primary thing like the weather, again, looks larger, has more stats here, obviously, but um, you know, it's a, about what details you prefer and what the screen looks like to you. Again, screen looks a little bit larger, um, even though it might not actually be, um, for some reason just has somewhat of a different appearance to it. You gotta get out of the, um, if you look at notifications, um, so the same notifications, I've turned notifications off on the 245, just great. But um, either way, when you get to um, seeing the primary things, you can turn the screen, the backlight up. Um, obviously that helps a ton. So um, if we look at the same stats, one versus the other, again, larger, sort of more data, but um, primary components just seem a little bit smaller. Um, again, a black backlight versus a lighter one. Same sort of details there as it's obviously, it's got uh, Vizio true up, so it's gonna sink in all of the stats. For whatever reason, it doesn't sink in your stress levels um, or your body battery when you have even the, see what it shows here. Go into the last exercise component. Okay, so that's just gonna show the basic stats, whereas here you get average heart rate, calories, and a full list of activities. Um, but overall, the 6S, for some reason, just feels like a much smaller overall experience, which to me, is sort of odd. And then one thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a um, video in the dark, but I feel like this has got more of a yellow tint to uh, the, the way it looks. It looks a little bit more washed out, whereas the colors, one thing I found that something that I wanted to point out is the 645, um, the 245, the 45, and the 945. On this new generation that started with the 245, 945, and regular straight 45, um, the screen, quality seems to be noticeably better. I had the 645 for a long time and the colors seemed a little bit more bland, somewhat like the 6S, ironically. Um, I found the 245 screen to be the most visually sharp and the colors to be the most vivid when comparing the two. I don't have any specifics to sort of say why that sort of seems to be something um, that I'm seeing, but here you can just sort of see the basics where this seems to have a, a darker black. Obviously the backlight is turned up a little bit more on this, but when I turn the backlight down, it seems like it doesn't get noticeably better. It actually gets a little bit worse. Um, let's do that now. And this just shows you, let's just put it at, 50%, so I have it at 80, so that we have a maybe more of an exact comparison between the two, because 
for whatever we, reason, it sort of irks me that um, this seems like a darker, which makes the colors and the whites appear a little bit better. So I'm gonna do like a depth perception or just a gauge of the overall depth. And then we will compare just the, um, maybe you can see it a little bit at an angle. So you can see that there's side by side, um, the 6S is noticeably thicker. You will get two extra battery life days out of the 6S, so that's great. But the you know 245 looks incredibly slim compared to the 6S. Um, and it looks like it's about two millimeters in difference. And obviously you can find all these stats out on some of the more full tilt reviews that you find online. Um, we'll do a, a shot of both of these in the dark so that we can compare the two side by side with uh, no light around it to see how the colors look. Again, crossfittracking.com, just doing a comparison of the 245 versus the 6S. Okay, this is a darkness test just to be able to see what some of the differences look like. Um, obviously both appear even more washed out. Um, they don't look quite this washed out when you're looking in real life. Um, but when you look at different components, obviously see the um, sensor on the back coming in. Let's just look at my day. Um, so both appear somewhat similar looking just with my eye although this has more of a yellow and it is at 50% brightness. It seems a little more washed out than this. I don't know if you can pick it up while you're looking at it on the uh, screen, unfortunately, but um, it does appear, oh yeah, I do have some notifications I can look at. So here, the white appears a little bit more bright on the 6S. So, and then ironically, when reading this one versus the other, my biggest feeling complaint on the 6S is it just feels smaller, just feels more compact and not in a good way, um, but it actually has larger font here and is a little bit more legible with the white backlight. So in the white case, uh, the case of the whites coming out more clearly, that does seem to be a bit more crisp than um, what you get when you're just looking at the black backdrop options. So let me see if I can change this to a watch face that will be somewhat more uh, similar. We'll see if we can make it an exact watch face. So I'll just go with that one. So similar um, here again, you probably can't tell, but the blacks here look a little bit better and the whites here come through a little bit better on this screen, although the black has more of a washed out feeling to it. I Part of this, what launched this idea of this video was that a lot of things I read online, people are receiving identical sixes or six S's, one for them, one for their spouse, and the colors were coming in looking differently. One had a better black and one looked more yellow, more uh, grayed out, and wasn't as sharp. So that, made me want to start seeing if there was any noticeable differences side by side. Um, so that's what we're looking at here, is what are the noticeable, if anything, uh, visual differences when looking side by side. Um, I really don't have too much of a simple, straightforward. There it is. Okay, so here we can see um, again, to me, looking at it plainly, the uh, 6S is a little more washed out. So anyway, that's the side-by-side -side comparison. So you can see some of the details as well as how the screen functionality works for the 245 versus the 6S. And uh, good luck out there, CrossFitTracking.com.